What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of modern man. And today is quarantine day number 29. Yes, today is another day of quarantine. So I'm gonna let you guys know how to maintain a beard while being quarantined and you guys can't reach your barber because they're in self-isolation themselves. So this is actually perfect for anyone who is gonna be doing interviews for online. If you guys have to do like meetups with your friends online, if you gotta do anything you need to do online, you just gotta look trim and proper and you don't have the resources to go to your barber. So how to maintain a beard while being quarantined. Let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run you through my routine of what I do live actually. So this is honestly, this is the raw cut version of what I do on my day-to-day -day basis, especially in this time of essence, because I can't reach my barber, much like many people out there like yourself and other people. So this is what I personally do. So the first thing I usually do is I jump out the shower, which I am right now. So the first thing I usually do when I come in the shower is that I pick out my beard. And if you have not a curly beard, you have a kind of a straight coarse beard, just brush it through or just use whatever tools you guys have. For me, I have a pick. So what I usually do with my beard, I just pick it out. I usually pick it out just to see the length of what I'm working with because we're gonna be doing some trimming, we're gonna be doing some shape, shaping, we're gonna be cleaning up the edges. So I just usually pick it out just to see what I'm working with all overall. And I get my brush just to brush it out as well. So after I get the full spectrum of what I'm working with and what I'm ideally gonna be using, um, the tool wise, I basically get into my toolkit and I get my T outliner. So this right here is my T outliner. Many of you guys has probably seen this through your barbershop. You probably barber lined you up with this, especially on your forehead, or just kind of lined up your beard or wherever the case may be. But this was something predominantly you'll see in every barbershop. So I usually get this. Um, basically what I use with the T outliner is I clean up the ends of my beard. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And through there, I'll just show you guys how I maintain any like lines and coarse hair. And after I turn this on, I basically, I'm just gonna like figure out my line here and I kind of guide myself of where I kind of cut previously before and kind of to see like what's comfortable for me to do. So this is kind of tough because I'm actually looking at the camera up top, but I'm gonna see if I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing here without messing it up. So I kind of pre-cut already because I didn't want to mess this up on camera. I don't need you guys dissing me about it. So for me, what I usually do with this is I get the TI liner. I basically put it on a touch point where my inner ear is and I kind of line it downwards. You guys can see that. So right here, I kind of just line it up and I kind of Turn it on and I push out. Put it there, line it up, push out, line there, put it down, <laughs> push out. I'm not a barber, so I don't know what exactly the lingo, but I just kind of let's line up just of what I see. Put it down and I push out, put it down and I push out. And then when it comes down to the corners, is where I'm more, uh, more precise with my cutting. So I turn, so basically I kind of sharpen up here sometimes they used to go down but it kind of damages the skin so what i usually do is just i just lightly just flick up and i got better over time because you don't want to flick up too hard and then you know cut your beard so just do it lightly here there and then there so you get that nice cut straight line that's how i kind of define my my line here beard uh, when it does come down when it does come down to the face here uh, what I usually do is like I can show you I turn it on and I kind of just line it up like this so I look into the mirror I line it up ideally what I like and I don't do anything more than I need to so this is what I usually do with this is just I just usually just take out the loose ends I don't do anything too crazy. I don't make the fine lines. I don't do any of that. 
because I'd rather have my barber take care of that because I don't want to uh, ever mess that up. What I do with my stash is I kind of brush outwards. So I brush outwards just to get the loose grains and loose hairs. So that is all cleaned up. So I can, I can see what I'm doing, I can know what I'm doing, and I feel more comfortable doing it. So that's how I get rid of the loose hairs, because you don't want the strands coming up everywhere. You want to all be in a simultaneously in sync. So brushing it down, it can really help you to find where those loose hairs are growing. So I, I use beard butter right here. So it's a double cream as I am. So it's actually pretty good to use. Um, so I grab a little bit of this, I put it into my hand. You really don't need that much. You'll need like a, a penny size. So after you put like a penny size in your hand, putting my, putting my beard all around. I usually, I usually wipe down. One of the biggest things with even when we're doing this is honestly even getting under the beard. That, that's a, to me, that's a place where a lot of um, dryness actually occurs and it's kind of uncut and uh, unkept. So I'll just grab a little, I'll blow up a little bit more, put it in my hand, but I'll put it under my beard. So that way it stays moisturized all around, especially on the edges too. Make sure you get the edges because these are the places that are most apparently dry for me. And uh, just since over time having a beard, I noticed different areas of where points where people don't pay a lot of attention to and uh, that can actually benefit you in the long run. Um, I might use my beard oil, which I do own as well. So I put like maybe a squeeze of beard oil in my beard, put it all in beard just to keep it moisturized, keep it healthy, just to keep it lubricated. Ideally, that's what I put. I usually advise you guys to grab the beard oil that you like the best, which is the most appealing to you within the smell and then use that just to start um, you know lubricating your beard and that is exactly what I do during times of quarantine just like we are in right now so if you're looking to maintain your beard if you're looking to keep it sharp and crisp even in this time of self-isolation or you just need it for or you just need to do something on a run and you can't reach your barber apply these techniques apply these skill sets